Hello, I'm Richard Chambers. Welcome to my continuing series of View from the Audit Trail. An old colleague who is now a chief audit executive of an American company was lamenting to me recently on how management seems to be becoming increasingly testy with internal audit. Before the pandemic, she said, opening meetings for new audits were generally positive experiences. But that's not always the case now, especially when the meetings are held virtually. As she shared examples, I couldn't help but reflect on my own experiences. The opening meetings for an internal audit can set the tone for the entire engagement. Management can be apprehensive at the start. They're sometimes suspicious about our motives. You've probably seen this happen. Everything is going smoothly. Initially, you're prepared and you've had a cordial relationship with your audit client. But as the conversation progresses, you notice the mood changing. Your client is now frowning and their arms are crossed defensively. What happened? What went wrong? You might never know, but there's a way to help ensure that it doesn't happen again. Each client and situation is different. But here are a few statements that I discovered could quickly raise the hackles during an opening meeting and should be avoided. Let's begin with the phrase, we are here to help you. It's always helpful to establish a cordial tone but sincerity is the key. The cliche, we are here to help you, is often referred to as the oldest fib in internal audit. The second oldest fib is management's response, we're glad to have you. Actually, you might be as welcome as the last government auditor who reviewed your personal income taxes. While I always hoped we would help management, I let our actions do the talking instead. Another phrase that will sideline you we are starting this audit because your area came out high on the risk assessment. I once had to jump between an internal auditor who uttered those words and a member of management to whom they were directed. As I mentioned, management is already apprehensive at the beginning of our audits. Signaling right away that you've already concluded there are problems will only elevate tensions. Hopefully you're there to assess the effectiveness of controls to mitigate risks. Think about management's point of view. You can probably think of a more compelling explanation for your audit. Number three, our objective is to assess the overall effectiveness of your area. It's important to articulate audit objectives clearly and concisely, but broad objectives such as efficiency or overall effectiveness are difficult to grasp unless there are widely accepted criteria. Statements about assessing the overall effectiveness can give an over-anxious client the jitters. Don't appear to be on some sort of war path that might leave collateral damage. Fourth on my list of opening statements to avoid, we will brief you on the results at the conclusion of the audit. Communication must be fluid and consistent. Holding the results until the end of the audit will frustrate management. It will also reinforce the stereotype that internal auditors have a gotcha mentality. It's okay to let your client know that you will talk to them at the conclusion of your audit, but make it clear that there will be no surprises during that meeting. An opening meeting should help soothe unnecessary fears, not create anxiety. Finally, don't waste management's time by saying, we don't have anything to tell you today. We just wanna know if you have any questions. If you hold a meeting without having anything to say, you are missing an opportunity. This is absolutely the time to share information, such as why the audit is being undertaken and introducing your team. You can also offer preliminary objectives, projected milestones, and how management can play a role in the process. To that point, I never took anyone from my own team to an opening meeting unless they had a specific role to play. I also never wanted my team members to significantly outnumber managements. It's a good idea for management to meet all the members of the audit team early on, but try to craft an agenda so that everyone can contribute. Otherwise, it can appear you're overstaffed and underworked. An internal audit opening meeting should be much more than just a moment to say hello. It is our opportunity to make a strong first impression, to create healthy working relationships, and to motivate the client to work with you toward positive outcomes. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to sharing more views from the audit trail again soon. I'm Richard Chamber.